Hey, I'm Jordan of PewDiePie.com. This is Jeremy with Policy Pack, and he's here to tell us how to prevent your users from installing software that you don't want on there. Yeah, like malware. Does that sound like a good idea? Seems like a good idea. Yeah. So here's the lash up. The lash up is, of course, you want to be in charge of deploying stuff through PDQ Deploy and have your users run it. But you don't want users to be able to just download any old junk off the internet and run that. That's how Windows works. Ten seconds before we started the video, I downloaded this little video player. Hey, that might be okay. Or if I download iTunes, you know, iTunes won't let you install unless you do something like we did in a previous video. Or you take Notepad P. Is it is it good is it goodware? Is it malware? You have no idea if it's good or not. Said another way, you don't want users to be able to install or run things that you're not in charge of, including things like ransomware. Let's take a look at ransomware simulator here. Just just good old ransomware. Double click it and look at that. Here we go. And you are owned, right? You do not want to be in the business of having to revert out of this. And of course, we all agree you should be doing everything you can to try to prevent malware, all the way from the network stack and all the way down to the last millimeter, which is the endpoint. And to start off our demo, I'm going to have Jordan deploy two applications that you do want users to run. Let's let's pick some browsers. Let's pick Firefox and say Chrome and get it deployed to Win 10 Computer 5. And then the second thing we're going to do is block all the unknown where so the users can't be naughty. Win 10, yeah. I can type. Computer 5, you got it. All right, excellent. And the packages we want are Firefox and... Oh, I just did uh, each one individually because okay. uh, apparently I'm new to my own product. <laughs> that works though, right? There's no downside. That works great. Okay, great. All right, well, we'll go ahead and let this, uh, go ahead and let this finish up. All right, now that we're all installed, let's go take a look at uh, the results. Let's go do that. All right, great. So I can see Chrome is there. Let's go ahead and run it and try it out, make sure it works, because of course you want it to run. In fact, I have full confidence that that's going to run. But again, we still haven't blocked the malware part and the unknownware that the user installed down here. And I'm going to do that in a quick stroke using Policy Pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, a new pol a new GPO against my web engineers. And my web engineers, I'm going to do Policy Pack smack down malware and unknownware. Okay, there we go. Right click, click on edit here. Now this feature of Policy Pack is part of our least privilege manager product and it's uh, it's called Secure Run. And I'll, I'm going to show it working first and explain how it works second. So I'm going to die down under user side Policy Pack. I'm going to go to least privilege manager and we had another video on this earlier today. We're going to go right click and create a new policy called Secure Run. And again, I'm going to show you how it works first and then come back and explain how it works second. I'm going to turn it on. We're going to talk about this second. Click OK. And now it's locked and loaded. I'm going to go over to my endpoint. I'm going to run GP update. OK. And after this is done, we're going to verify that the stuff we deploy using PDQ Deploy, all OK. Stuff that users could run 10 seconds ago, all smacked down. And then I'll explain how we did the magic. Now that that's done, let's close the window out. Now let's go try, let's try PDQ deploy stuff first. Okay. Go ahead and run Chrome again, and I'll go ahead and run Firefox 2. Again, you just deployed these. I have full confidence these are going to work just perfectly fine. But the stuff that the user downloaded off the inner tubes, how do we know what's going to be there? Let's take Notepad P and blocked. Let's go ahead and take this video player, Cam Play, blocked. Most importantly, let's take Ransomware Simulator, try that guy, and block. How did we magically do this? We have some reporting cloud thing in the sky? Yeah, how, do, how do I know that you didn't manually put all of these uh, programs in beforehand because you knew what you had? Exactly. So here's the secret sauce. Remember back when we, when we created the Secure Run policy? And we let's edit it again. Here's what we did. We said, hey, if you're not on this list, you can't run it. So what does that mean? That means when PDQ deploy deploys something and we go to properties and we take a look at the security and we take a look at advanced, the owner is the system or administrator or maybe your PDQ deploy account. If I take a look at something that the user downloads off the inner tubes and I go to properties and I go to security and I go to advanced, who owns the file? The user. Let's go back to the list. Who's, who's not on the list? I don't see the user anywhere. Exactly. So when the user downloads stuff, it's there. You know they own the file, and you're saying don't run the application or launch the file if you're not on the list. It's just that simple. So you might have you might be thinking to yourself, wait a second, this works out great. What about applications that are sanctioned, like CamPlay? That's a perfectly fine application. Let's go ahead and let that run. All right? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. What we'll do is we'll create a new rule, add a new executable policy. All right. 
and I'm going to create a simple rule. I'll, I could use it by path, which is the name, by a fingerprint or hash or by its signature. I'm going to use path, and I'm going to say let this thing run if it's called cam play. So I'll say it's cool if it's called cam play dot exe. And if I wanted to be a little bit more strong, I could say and signed by Camtasia people. So it does it. So it looks at exclude first, and then include after. And That's right. Yeah, fantastic. smacking down everything. Open up the doggy doors as needed. So allow and log. We don't need to run with elevated privileges and run with the scissors. We just need to open up the doggy door just for cam play. So we're going to allow and log. <clears throat> so let cam play run. Let cam play run. Okay, we're good to go there. And now remember, 10 seconds ago, cam play's not working, or we're correctly blocking it down. So now what we'll go ahead and do and run gp update slash force. We'll get this last directive. We'll keep things running when deployed by a PDQ deploy, keep things smacked down automatically from policy pack, and open up the doggy door just for the application or applications that meet our criteria, the things that are sanctioned that the user can run. Right. So while that's running, just to clear up, if you just made cam play, if you made the owner of that yeah. the system one of the approved, yeah. then it would also work right out the gate? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, so if you deploy it using your thing, you're ready to rock. So notepad P, smack down, cam play, opens right back up. Fantastic. And that's it. That's how you can block all malware and unknownware from, from your systems all in one click and then use PDQ Deploy to deploy anything you want and have that run just the way you would expect. All right, well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, for Jeremy, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. Thanks so very much.